Hello everyone, my name is Angela Barrett and I'll be giving you some information on my research prospectus. What is the relationship between nutrition education on food choices and consequently health status? Obesity is a serious challenge among children. Fruits and vegetables can help to control or prevent obesity. Many children do not eat fruits and vegetables. Childhood obesity increases risk of type 2 diabetes and other health problems. Childhood obesity has reached epidemic proportion throughout the world. Objective To understand how nutrition education can help children in making healthy food choices. Research question. What is the relationship between nutrition education on food choices and consequently health status? Hypothesis. Poor food choices leads to obesity in children. Literature review. In the last eight years, studies have analyzed the influence of nutrition education on food choices. They have reviewed health status of elementary school children before and after nutrition interventions. The consensus of these studies is that nutrition education can help children to make healthy food choices, which consequently improve their health. An improvement in health will lower obesity and overweight. Privatera and his colleagues concluded that emolabeling leads to healthier food choices among 5 to 11 years old. Regarding the influence of nutrition education on healthy food choices, two studies found positive relationship between the two. significance of study replicating the nutrition detective programs into schools curricula are likely to help children make healthy food choices and improve their overall health this research proposal will allow for more insight on how nutrition education can influence healthy food choices methodology the research is quantitative in nature and involves an intervention the nutrition detective program will be used to measure the effects of nutrition education on food choices informed consent the researcher will seek permission from the DeKalb County Board of Health and DeKalb County Board of Education to conduct the study. The informed consent will explain to the participants and their parents the reason for the study. It will describe what will happen for the duration of the study. Data collection. A total of 1,180 students will be enrolled in the study, 628 students in the intervention group, and 552 students in the control group. To assess group differences at baseline between the intervention and control groups, students' t-tests will be used. Data will be collected from male and female school students in the fifth grade. Students will be excluded from data collection and program evaluation if parental consent is not received or if they are unwilling to participate. To assess group data analysis, to assess groups differences at baseline between the intervention and control group, students' t-tests will be used. Repeated measures analysis of variance ANOVA 
will be used to assess the between group differences for the anthropometric and dietary intake. Tests will be conducted with a two-tail alpha level set at 0.05. The research question will be answered and the study complete when the statistical analysis is completed. This will reveal if the null hypothesis is rejected and support the alternative hypotheses. Study design. The Nutrition Detective Program consists of five mini-lessons. Mini-lesson one, two, and three shows a link between food choices and health, the struggles of eating well in the modern world, in addition to how and what nutrition, nutritious foods to choose. Mini-lesson four is an interactive activity where students will participate in a hands-on spine on food labels. The final mini-lesson emphasizes the healthy choices of fresh produces as well as summarizes key points and takeaway messages. Baseline data is to be collected from students with parental consent. Baseline data from the children will include gender, grade level, age, weight, height, body mask index, dietary intake, and nutritional knowledge. Timeline. The timeline for the study the, um, include period and major activities. Approval from the Cab County Board of Education, one to two months. Pilot modified survey, one month. Intervention, eight months. Data analysis, two months. Discussion. With childhood obesity being an epidemic in the USA, Investigating the influence of nutrition education on food choice is important. Anticipating findings of this include identifying if nutrition education can lower BMI. With a focus on school children in Georgia, this study will help to fill the gaps in the current literature. Limitations. The food label quiz used was developed specifically for the program and not previously validated. This study did not show effects on downstream variable within the logic model for obesity, such as dietary patterns and weight. Another limitation of this study is that it is relatively short duration of several months. This concludes my presentation on my research prospectus I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.